everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Play, we're going to play through a scenario from Vaulters Lead the Way, a solitaire war game designed by Herman Lutman and published by White Dog Games. This is a recent release from Herman Lutman. This is uh, this game uses, excuse me, the push your luck system that he originally created. I believe the first game was in Magnificent Style, which you guys know I absolutely love that game, um, covering... Uh, the battle or the the scenario of Pickett's Charge at Gettysburg in the American Civil War, and then he also released Crowbar, the Rangers at Point Du Hoc from uh, D Day, 1944, um, which is published by Flying Pig Games. Um, this one I want to check out because I love the system <clears throat> and I love I love his solitaire games as well. Invaders from Dimension X, not by White Dog. Sorry guys. Um, it's by Town of Battle Publishing, but anyway, um, I love that, you know, solitaire, um, science fiction war game. There's not a whole lot of them out there, so when I see one, I definitely want to want to get into it. So, all right, um, what we have here is a little bit of an overview. So this is a card-driven game. There are no dice, so we're going to be flipping the cards. The cards, these action cards here, are going to control everything from the units we're activating, which we have our units on the bottom here. Our goal is to move up this way towards the alien-held lines. You see our... Uh, our units are deploying down here in the regimental deployment zone. And then you have the different companies, the different regiments here. And then you have up here the aliens in the alien defense enclosure zone and the doomsday device zone. As the turns go by, we're trying to get up here to reveal the doomsday device markers. There's going to be a number on there. Each turn, once you get to the countdown stage, we're going to have to pick, take one of those counters, either reveal it and apply the number or reply or apply, excuse me, the number if we see it, which obviously if it's a lower number, the better, because there's a track here from the Doomsday Trigger. If it gets to 10, planet destroyed. We're playing on the moon map. This game comes with a Mars map and a moon map. We're just going to go ahead and play on the moon map. We are going to play on the brutal difficulty. I'm starting on turn three, so two less turns to go ahead and reveal some Doomsday device markers and go ahead and keep us from destroying the planet. Um, I mentioned the cards, card driven. So when we're doing different actions, different things are called for. We're going to flip over card, Volter unit. Those are our guys, right? Volters lead the way. Um, Scout, Ranger, heavy weapons. You can make up your uh, companies how you want to. I made them as sort of recommended by the uh, game, which is one Scout unit, one heavy weapons, one Ranger, which is a good compliment because that way, at the least the beginning of a company activation, you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want. Um, once you pick one, though, you have to stick with it. And I'll explain the rules as I play. Um, but you can see, you know, fire or move, halt, reckless charge, etc. There's going to be different things that will happen. You also have events, Volter events, so ones that are beneficial to us, or Fermician events, those are the, the bad guys, the Fermicians, um, events that will help them. So, fairly simple at its core, but a lot of fun, really chaotic. Let's go ahead and dive into the actual gameplay, and uh, I'll describe it as we go. So, let's get to it. Alright, let's go ahead and just run through the sequence of play, and again, I'll explain things as we go. First phase, Doomsday phase, which we ignore during regular game turns one through five, as you can see down here. Once we get to our turn six, it begins the countdown, which you will then, like I said, reveal um, or apply one of these markers from up here. We have to go ahead and skip it now. Fermission retaliation phase, so this is the aliens. A draw a Fermission event and apply the effect. So we'll go ahead and draw a card. Check down the events. Fermission event here, laser volley. Go ahead and check the uh, event descriptions. Laser volley. Drawn during a company activation. It's not. Um, if drawn at any other time, randomly select a company, and that company is attacked with fire combat. Each affected alien unit will issue a fire combat at the unit in its column. Oh, good. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick... Well, let's go ahead and pick... I think this would be the best column for that, right? Yeah, right here. So, they're going to go ahead and issue... Um, combat against us, fire combat. However, we are, because we have um, units in, I'm trying to check here. So now it would be just the regular space then. Yep, so it'll be um, their regular SP. They don't get any bonuses for being closer. If they were either here or here, they'd get bonuses to their strength points. So very simple. You go ahead and check a strength point of a unit, and then you draw a card. And you compare it to the random number at the bottom. So for instance, here, He's shooting at our scout unit. He has a two strength point. Flip a card over. Eight. No good. The card draw has to be equal or less than to cause a hit. So it's a miss. He right here. And he's in front, so he'll be the one shooting. He has a two. That's a two. So he causes a hit. So our heavy weapons unit takes a hit already. That's a big bummer. 
And then here, kill shooting out of Rangers. He has a two normally, but you can see a support fire marker. That support fire from Skybreach, our orbiting ship. Therefore, technically only has a one and a nine. So no hit there. That was a bad event for us, unfortunately, but hey, that's the way the game goes. All right, next phase, Warlords. Warlords, excuse me, and Chaos Patrol phase. Now, there are no Chaos units. The Chaos units, which, <clears throat> little uh, homage back to his previous games. Those are the, actually, the Chaos are the same units, or same aliens from um, Invaders from Dimension X. So, you'll see some familiar faces if you played his other uh, sci-fi sci uh, war games. But anyway, we don't have any on the board, because the only special aliens we have. So, we have a bunch of Formicians. We have Termite Mercs here and here, and they do not teleport around. So we're not going to worry about that part of it. But the Warlord does move. Every turn, you can see the Warlord marker here. He adds plus two to SP, whichever unit he's stacked with. He's going to go ahead and move. So we're going to move there. Next turn, he'll move here. Turn after that, he'll kind of flip over and move that way. So, all right, done there. Commander assignment phase. So we have commander units. You can see I've you, picked them, you can pick them random. You can pick them however you want. I went ahead and picked random. I have Manzo, Barber, and Horst. Again, a little bit of kind of tongue-in-cheek slash uh you know if you know you know style horse hmm wonder who that is barber gee i wonder who that is and manzo gee i wonder who that is so anyway um these are the random ones we're gonna go ahead to assign them you can assign them to a specific unit or we can leave them back in the company box to help the whole company i'm gonna leave them back in the company box i usually leave them in the company box however there are times where you're gonna want to attach them to a unit the main reason you would when you do that is and if you guys can see here um I have, you can see the F, C, and S, fire combat, pulse combat, and save number. So you can see it adds pluses, so it'll help, you know, when it gets into certain types of combat for that specific unit. But I like its effect a lot of times anyway um, for the whole company. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign them. Just I'll put them in the company box. And you can see our companies are kind of blocked by the life support pods here. Deimos um, company, headquarters box, we'll put them up there. The Earthling company and the Fission Company, so put them up there. All right, and that is it for the Commander Assignment phase. So now we go to the Choose Active Company phase. So what that is, is you activate a company, these units are not spent, which is the very beginning, so nobody's spent yet. Once the unit's done, you go ahead and mark with one of these spent markers. Um, we start off, we're gonna draw a card. We're gonna check to see which unit you wanna activate. As soon as you activate a certain unit though, that unit, um, that unit then has to be activated until you consolidate or it's halted or whatever happens right so you can't just go back and forth it's going to be okay you can pick whichever we want but then that's the one and you're going to be stuck with them until you're done with them all right we draw an action card and then what we'll do is i'm going to go ahead and um i'm going to just i'll probably go mostly left to right you can pick whichever order you want but that's what i'm going to do it um for most of the time so um demos here demos company let's go ahead and draw for them move one plus take a hit and that's the Vulture Unit Activation section. So I have to pick a unit. They're going to get to move one, but they're going to take a hit. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Scout. I'm going to have him move one here, but then he does take a hit. So now the Scout's the one who's activated. So now I'm going to draw an extra, and now I can, I can consolidate. And here's where the push your luck aspect comes in. I can consolidate, which would move my life support pod up to his, his uh, space, and then mark him with spent. Or I can keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to continue. All right, now I have to check the scout. Move two. Beautiful. So he's going to go ahead and move one. Two, he's going to move all the way up to here. What am I going to do? I can consolidate or I can keep, see, I can push my luck or I can consolidate. I'm going to go for another card because I'm risky like that. Scan or move two plus a hit. Well, I don't want to take another hit, although moving is nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and scan. What does scanning do? Simple. It allows me to reveal one of those support fire markers that are in my section. So I'm going to reveal this one, which is a miss. Unfortunately... Almost should have left it on there. Too bad. Set it aside. Okay. Um, and then I am done, though. I'm going to consolidate now. So I can go ahead and move my life support pod up. And then I do uh, place a spend marker on there. So that unit is done. Now, when I draw a card here, I get to go ahead and activate either the heavy weapons or the rangers. I have to stay within the Demos company here, Demos company, um, until I'm done. So move one. But then remember, whichever one I pick, that's the unit I'm stuck with. Stuck with. Let's pick the heavy weapons. We're going to go ahead and move him one. And then draw again. I'm going to continue. Heavy weapons, cautious advance or halt. He will do a cautious advance right here. And now I will go ahead and 
um, consolidate, move the life support up, and spend. Um, the cautious advance means he can advance is if it's within this area. See these boxes, right? So there's the columns, there's which have numbers, and you can't really see them up here. Where are the numbers at? All right there. Um, and then there's also you know one, two, three, four, five these groups. If he's within here, if he had cautious advance, he couldn't advance to the next one, and it can only be within the same area. So we're good there. All right, and finally we have our rangers. We have to go for him. So ranger, move one. Go again. We need more ammo. That's kind of a special thing. Um, you check to see where they are compared to their life support pods. Uh, and if they're not within a certain number of spaces, um, they have a, they get a low ammo marker, which hurts them in combat, obviously. Um, for scouts, they have to be within three of their LSP. For heavy weapons, excuse me, rangers, it's two. Heavy weapons, it's one. He's within one, so he is just fine. So we're gonna, I'm going to continue. Ranger. Move, move one or move two plus take a hit. Now, I don't want to take any hits, so I'm just going to go ahead and move one, and I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to consolidate. Boom. Spent marker. And there we go. And we didn't even use our leader, which means at the end of the turn, we're going to get a chance to use our leader here to draw a Vaulter event. So it's pretty sweet how that works. All right, next company. Let's see what the Earthling company here can do. Go ahead and draw for them. All right, we get to draw, and then we get to pick a unit. So scout, heavy weapon, or ranger. So basically, you're going to look, because some of these are bad. Right, you only have like bad choices, so you really want to then go for the one that has the good choices. For instance, on this one, I like the fact that the ranger can move. Um, I don't like the heavy weapons necessarily, although he could do a sustained fire. Hmm, that might not be a bad idea. Hmm, actually, let's go ahead and do that. So, actually, we're gonna pick the heavy weapon, sustained fire plus halt. The halt won't hurt him though because of where he is, but a sustained fire means he is going to. Get to shoot with a plus two strength point. Now he's going to shoot down the line, right? And he's shooting at this unit. Or heavy weapons can shoot at any unit they want. Um, it just depends on, let me see. Yep, it depends on basically to shoot whoever one they want to. Um, but it has to be the front one, excuse me. So this, you know, this unit here, this alien's in the escarpment here. So he's ahead of this one. I can't shoot this guy. But I can shoot this guy, this guy, or this guy. Um, so what we're going to do with a plus two, however... We are at a long range because we're in the green. You can see the sectors here. Green, yellow, red. He's in green, so it's a negative two. So it comes out to just an even. But he has an eight strength points, so he's a really good chance. He's going to go ahead and shoot at the termite mercs here. Try to get them out of the way of the scout unit here. So go ahead and give it a, I was going to say roll. Give it a draw. Check for eight, one, and eight or less. We got a five. That's a hit. Go ahead and flip this unit over. You can see the unit here has two dots up top. Flip them over, now he only has one dot. Those are the steps of the unit, right? So for instance, starting off, our heavy weapons, right? Four dots up top, meaning he obviously has four steps to his unit. Okay. Now that was the only action you had to take because remember, it was a halt, sustained fire plus a halt. A halt is the unit remains in the space, it's mark spent, however, it doesn't move up the LSP like it would consolidate. For him, it doesn't matter because he never left his actual, you know, the headquarters box, but that's okay. All right, now let's go ahead and draw for either other unit in the company here. So either the scout or the ranger. We get to go ahead and pick whichever one we think would be best for us. Scout or ranger. Oh, they're both. Neither of them are particularly great. Um, Because the scan doesn't help us here. I don't want the scout taking a hit. Um, the ranger can do a reckless charge. You can just attempt to move. Let's go ahead and, or you can just halt. Let's do a reckless charge. Let's risk it. So he's, I'm going to select the ranger for a reckless charge. And you can see there's a little chart on there. So we're going to draw for a number. We got a three. That's good. We get to move one with no negatives. So the ranger gets to move one. Whew. All right. Now I'm going to continue with him. So let's draw for the ranger. Halt or move one plus hit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, well, shoot. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and halt. So he doesn't move up to LSP. He's spent. All right. Finally, the scout. Let's go ahead and see what he can do. Scan or fire. Um, scan's not going to do anything because there's nothing to scan. Remember, he scans for these support fire markers. Um, he can fire, though. So he'll go ahead and fire, which has four. But this long range, it's going to be mega minus two. So it only has a two. So he can fire at that unit. So he has to roll. Get a two or less. Not roll. Draw a two or less. Unless it's not used to having, not having dice. He's going to continue. Scout. Move one. He'll continue. Draw Vulture's event. Oh, fantastic. It's good news for us. Okay, so draw another card for an event. Remember, we always draw the next card up. You don't want to just do it from that card, or else you'd always end up doing the same events. Art event, Vulture, Deep Crater. 
Um, take a deep crater marker and place it in any Vulture's unit space. It grants a, a six plus save attempt on any occupying unit occupying the space. Okay, um, let's go ahead and place it with our heavy weapon unit here. All right, and we're gonna continue with that scout. We're not done yet with him. Scout, halt or reckless charge? Ooh, um, I don't like, I don't know if I like that, what he has as options. Cause he, has, he hasn't taken any hits yet though, has he? No. All right, let's go ahead and do the reckless charge. I drew a six, which means he moves two plus takes a hit. So one, two, then he takes a hit. Downside though, is that where he is, he's in, you can see he's in like a crater, right? He's in a lunar sea. Um, he can't consolidate there. He can only be halted. So he has to keep drawing. Might have been a mistake on my part. Scout, cautious advance or halt. Can't do a cautious advance because Remember, you can't, you have to stay within the same area here. He can't, so it has to be the halt. So he will be halted there, which does not move the LPS up. All right, that's it for that company. And the last will be the Fission Company. All right, Fission Company, let's go ahead, draw a card for them. So Scout could fire or move, Ranger, halt or reckless charge, heavy weapons, halt or move one plus hit. Ugh. Boy, all these options are terrible. <laughs> the scout, I guess, is the best one, huh? Fire or move one. So we'll just go ahead and select the scout and have him move one. By the way, one thing I haven't done, and we're going to continue with him for sure, I haven't done yet is I haven't used any of my leaders. So with the leader here, he has a bunch of options, the commanders, I should say, um, within the headquarters here. he can You can redraw an action card for an activation of a unit. Um, you can select, you can use him, which you flip him over to his use side. Um, or you can do an open fire, which is before card draw, all the units in the active company issue a fire combat. Um, or you can do a sky breach support, which is for drawing the next card. You could place um, two random face down fire support markers on any alien units. Um, you would draw for the space and place them. Um, or you can, I'm trying to think, or you can place a new LSP or you can replace a new squad. So anyway, let's go ahead and draw for the scout. Fire or move one. He will move one. Um, okay, which we have to, and then it's only one of the downsides of the game. There's not a lot of cards, so you have to keep shuffling. It's actually why I sleeved them. I wouldn't traditionally sleeve this type of game necessarily, but you are going to be shuffling them so many times. And I find sh uh, sleeved cards a little easier to shuffle, especially with a smaller deck, because they're easier. Because it's such a small deck that when you don't have them sleeved, it's really hard to do like a sh uh, I don't even know how you would what you call that when you like do them right next to each other and sh to shuffle them i don't know the term terminology for shuffling cards but whichever way that is um it would be a little it's a little troublesome so i just do this and do this a bunch and there you go all right so we're going to continue for that scout so we get scout move one or move two plus hit i don't want to take any hits so we'll just move one um we're going we're gonna to continue scout move one Beautiful, and now we'll consolidate. So we're going to move our LPS up. Boom, all right. Draw for the next two here, heavy weapons or rangers. Oh, I'd like anything with gets the heavy weapons moving as well, for sure. So, although he's got a tough battle ahead of him, doesn't he? That's eh, okay, let him, get him moving. Okay, move one up here. So we're on the heavy weapons here. Move one, beautiful. We're continuing, continue. Move one, beautiful. Um, heavy weapons, we'll do them again. Hit, oh no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip Manzo over, let us redraw, um, so you get to redraw an action card for an activation of a unit. So we're gonna draw another one and check heavy weapons. Halt or move one plus hit. Well, we'll just halt him. I don't wanna take any hits yet. We'll save those for a little bit later. So, bam. All right, that'll be good. All right, and now we just have the Ranger left. Draw for him. Ranger, move one or move two plus hit. We'll just move one. Thank you. Draw and we'll continue. Ranger, move one. And let's continue again. Move two plus take a hit. Ah, bummer. But he needs to move two. So one, two, flip him over for the hit. And we'll consolidate there. So move our LPS up. And boom, he's spent. And that is it for the um, company activation phase or unit activation phase. All right, now we'll run through the end phase. First off, the assault coordination step. Unused company commanders may draw a Vulture event, which we have two of them. So Horst, let's go ahead and flip him over to used and draw an event. Vulture, Deep Praetors, 
I don't really like Deep Raider. It's kind of a lame event, in my opinion. So we're kind of bummed, but that's okay. We'll put him where this Ranger is, I guess. Okay. And then Barber. Go ahead and flip him over. And Volter. Volter's Ho! So this is you take a Volter's Ho marker. Attached to any one Volter unit. The marker can be used to automatically save, ignore a Mind Terror Generate event, re redraw an activation card, um, cancel Shocked, or give grant a plus two SPs in combat. So let's go ahead and place it with our... Um, our heavy weapons unit right here beautiful okay um alien onslaught so resolve special alien unit attacks we don't have any of the units uh, any aliens that would do that there's kind of a basic sort of mission basic game here so no worries there um incoming orders reset our company commanders action go ahead and move the it's a space-time continuum Step, which is advance the game turn marker from turn three. Remember, we start on turn three because we're playing brutal difficulty. And we'll move it to turn four. And then we'll start at the beginning of the sequence of play. All right. Second turn that we're playing, turn four overall. Let's move, speed it up a little bit so we can kind of get through the game a little quicker. All right. So just go ahead and skip the doomsday phase. We're not doomsday phase. Excuse me. We're not there yet. For machine retaliation phase, we're drawing an event for them. Condor sortie. Which condor sortie? Again, checking the little chart. Draw a random number. And find that same numbered area. Area 7, which is right here, which is where all three of these units are. That's fantastic. Um, place a Condor unit on the most advanced Vulture unit or LSP unit in that area. Um, try to find the Condor marker in a reasonable amount of time. I don't see it. I'm going to I'm gonna pause this video to find it. Oh, no, I found it. All right, Condor marker on the most advanced one, which is this scout right here. Um, fight a close combat of one round against the Vulture unit. If Condor attacks, they'll speed. Okay. All right, after a close combat. It'll attack again until eliminated. Oh, okay. Nice nice to see. This is a horrible event for us to get. It's going to hurt us bad. So, okay, so he's going to have a random close combat here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and basically close combat is you tag each other at the same time. No special modifiers that I can see. So what you're doing is you go ahead and um, check the total SP. So three and seven. You add a card number, right? So his seven. You add eight, 15. I have three plus three is six. So he wins that. So he takes first. I take a hit. Oops, the scout goes to a two two steps left um and then remember he was it do he would move away so it because you have one round of combat remove it after the close combat but place it nearby it'll attack again in a random area during the next okay yep so go ahead and what i'll just do is place it like down here it's a little more reminder okay fantastic so he's gonna just keep flying around attacking my guys until i can kill him just wonderful just wonderful okay um this god, dude, that was a terrible event for us. All right, Warlord Chaos Patrol phase. We're just going to have the Warlord move. You go ahead and move here. Commander assignment phase. Um, let's leave the commanders back here again in the headquarters box. Again, that's how I like to do that a lot. Active company phase. Let's dive into it. Let's go ahead and activate the uh, Demos company here first. We need more ammo. We'll give that to the scout, I guess. Yeah. Which, he's in the LSP, so no effect. We'll continue. Scout gets to move two. Nice. And we'll go ahead and... Well, actually, we'll keep... We'll move. We'll continue. We'll continue. Move one plus a hit. Ah. All right, moves here. And let's flip him over. A hit. And now we'll consolidate. Oh, he's getting beat up. Beat up. All right, so heavy weapons or rangers. Ranger, halt or move one plus hit. Heavy weapon, fire or move one. Oh... I don't like the, the fire, huh? So what we'll do is we'll fire the heavy weapon. We're going to go ahead and have him fire at this unit here. So he has a six, but he is in the green. So it's a negative two. So he only has a four, which we drew a nine. So that's a miss. Bummer. Um, and what I'm going to do is consolidate. And now because he didn't move at all for the consolidation, he gets actually gain back a step. So he goes back up to full strength. Not bad, huh? All right. Another ranger. Go ahead and activate him. Ranger halt or reckless charge. We'll do the we'll do the reckless charge. We draw five, which is move one plus a hit. 
comes here into Lunar Sea, takes a hit, and we'll continue with him. Oxygen and supplies are low. He's one, one space away, so that's fine. We'll continue. Ranger, move one or move two plus hit. We'll go to take move one and continue. Remember, because we can't uh, panic. Oh, no. Panic. So he's in, um, what is he in? He's in the yellow, yellow area. So retreat to less P and apply a halt. So, uh, so back down. And that's the push your luck. That's the push your luck part of it. So, all right, that's it for them. So we can activate either other company. All right, we'll activate the Earthling Company. So let's go ahead and draw. Draw Vulture's Event. Very good. Do have to reshuffle. As you can see before, when I mentioned the shuffling thing, it's a it's an issue. It's just a little bit of a quality of life thing, right? You, you are going to find yourself shuffling a lot. So I do recommend sleeving the cards for a very quick little side shuffle. Um, and then, uh, you know, do that a few times. You can get back to business. All right. So draw our Vulture's Event. Saturation Fire. Ooh, I like this one. Um, choose any company. Each eligible Vulture in that company may immediately issue a Fire Combat. Ooh, yeah, baby. Um, let's see. Four, three. I guess I like this one over here, huh? Yeah, let's do that. So they're all going to issue Fire Combat. So the Scout will do a Fire Combat. He's going to go ahead and pick him. Well, he has to shoot ahead. Um, he has four. He's in the yellow SP, though. Um, or excuse me, he's in yellow AZ, so it's uh, minus one, he's at long range. So he only has a three, so we'll check for him. Seven, that's a miss, bummer. The heavy weapons here has an eight, minus two for that, so he has a six. I'm not gonna use a Vulture's Hoe, that's a miss. And then the Rangers has a four, minus one, so he only has a three. Seven, that's a miss. Are you kidding me? Okay, never mind. All right, so, um, but we had our event. We had to pick a unit there. Um, let's go ahead and call it the fact, that, let's go and call it, say that we picked the heavy weapons. All right, check. Heavy weapons, panic. What? <laughs> panic? He's literally, oh, yeah, no effect if he's in the RDZ. So um, go ahead and draw again, because no effect on him. Heavy weapons, draw for machine event. Oh, great. Check for them. Vault for machine event, anti-orbital fire. So, anti-orbital fire, draw a random number. If six or seven is drawn, which a seven was drawn, the sky breach is disabled. Place the sky breach disabled marker, which I just I saw, here we go. Uh, place the sky breach disabled marker nearby as a reminder. You may not use any sky breach support options to the remainder of the game turn. You draw an eight or nine, the sky breach is destroyed. Oh boy, well, I'm glad we got that then. So, yeah, so our ship's disabled in orbit. Took a hit somehow. All right, continuing on, it's heavy weapons. Move one. Holy crap, I actually have to move one, huh? All right, or we'll continue. Fire or move one. Um, go ahead and, uh, no, let's move one again. I don't want to fire yet. Heavy weapons, move one or move two plus hit. Let's go ahead and move two plus a hit. I know you guys are like, what? No, we don't do that, Wayne. It's a, it's a, I got a plan. And we will consolidate there, though. So move it up. And mark it spent. All right, scout or ranger. Need more ammo. We'll pick, well, we'll pick the Ranger. If we pick Scout, he would actually be in trouble. So pick the Ranger. No worries, because he's within one. Move two plus hit. Two. Take a hit. Oops. Hit. Um, keep the Ranger going. Move one. And we'll go ahead and consolidate there. And finally, the Scout. Draw Vulture's Event. Woohoo! Um, deep Craters. So we got one marker left. Um, go ahead and put it here on our and then we'll continue auction supplies are low oh crap so we did that and we'll let's see one two three actually we're only three away so actually we are good okay we are good we'll continue scout panic uh panic is he's in the green let's see check the chart apply a halt so it just stops right there stops right here okay and then halt so it doesn't get the lps all right that's it for earthling company Let's go to the old Fission Company. Um, well, kind of like the scan fire. Uh, I don't know. Let's do Ranger. Ranger move one. 
Okay, we'll pick the ranger, so he'll move one. He moves the bottom of that deep crater, which does cause it to disappear, I guess. We'll continue with him. Ranger move two. Holy crap. One, two. Boom. Um, let's go ahead. Let's risk it. Continue with the ranger. Move one or move two plus hit. We'll just move one. And now we'll call a halt. Or uh, consolidate, excuse me. Use our terminology. Boom. Beautiful. All right. So scout or heavy weapon. Scout, scan. Move one plus hit. He's going to scan. I think there's a unit scan here. Yeah, there's a scan. So scout. we're going to pick the scout. He's going to go ahead and scan. Scan the support fire on this permission cluster. A miss. Bummer. All right. It's no effect there. It's a scout's turn. Move one or move two plus hit. He'll just move one. Scout, move one. Come on, baby. Give us one more move with the scout. Move one. Beautiful. And he'll go ahead and con consolidate there. Move up. Oops, did I forget to finish this scout here or to play him? I think I may have. Oh, well, too late. The mark I'm spent. My bad, guys. Hey, it's what happens when you're playing live, baby. Sometimes you gotta, or not live, but, you know, videoing, you kind of got to move fast. All right, so heavy weapons is the last one left. Heavy weapons, cautious advance, or halt. He can't cautious advance, so he's going to have to go ahead and halt. I'm not going to use any of his redraws because it's not worth it yet. So he will just go ahead and halt and stay right there. I would like to get this LPS, LSP up there to support him. Okay, and that was him. So boom, we are done with our unit activation phase, right? Yes, we are. All right, so into the end phase here, which is assault coordination. Unused company commanders may draw, which is all of ours. Hey, why not? So first one, a horse here. We draw an event. Vultures, company surge. Oh, I like this one. Select any company. All units in that company may immediately move one space unless shocked. Um, resolve any close combat. Ooh, everybody can move one. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and pick Fission Company here. So he'll move one. He'll move one. Ooh, nice. And then he'll move one as well. Beautiful. All the support units stay, though. Is he here? Yeah, he's right here. Okay, beautiful. Barber. Oh, dang it, we gotta shuffle again. And I'm not gonna pause the camera every time. Uh, pause the video, you know what I mean? Every time just to do the shuffle. Fortunately, you guys don't have to watch me shuffle, but I'll try talking during it. So, what do you think I should do next? My next turn. I think I need to step up on getting my guys moved up, though, because if you look at the game turn track and the countdown marker, we're getting awfully close. So, we're gonna have to reveal some of those doomsday devices soon, or else it's gonna be bad news bears for the old uh, Terrans here. So, okay, so Barber, Volter Event, Steel Rain Barrage. Um, draw two random numbers, place one random face down support fire mark on any eligible unit and those same numbered ADES spaces. If there's no alien units in ADES, the marker has no effect. So, first one is a two, which is right here. Place him there. And then second is a five, which is right, what is it, five right here, right? Yep, right here, so right here. Boom, all right. I mix them up a little bit because I put the ones that were misses right on top over here. So like, uh oh, I don't want to re-put misses down again. Wouldn't help us. And finally, Manzo here. I'm over. Vulture event. Alien POWs. Oh, what's that one do? Roll any one face down doomsday device marker on the map and leave it face up. Yes. All right, let's pick. Let's see. One we're not likely to get to. Maybe. They all look pretty gettable. Like, I think we can get to any of them, really. We'll put, we'll just put this one. Yeah. Okay. A one. Ooh, that's a nice one to reveal. That's good. That helps us. Lower numbers are better, right? Lower numbers keeps the divide, keeps the track lower. So, whew. All right. And then that was it for all of them. All of them, huh? So, an onslaught. Um, I think we have the, where is it? This guy, right? This condor. He goes and does his little thing, right? Am I correct on that? Alien Onslaught step, yep. So, check for area, area eight, which is here. So he's gonna go ahead and land on the scout here and engage in a close combat with our scout, which is really sucks for us. Okay, so he has a seven, plus one, eight. We have a three, plus five, eight, it's a tie. So we both take a hit. So he goes to one, I drop down to two. And then he goes away until the next turn. Wonderful. 
All right, and then we go ahead and incoming orders. Reset company commander, spent, and sky breach disabled. So sky breach. All right. Space time continuum. Advancing game turn marker. Turn five. Oh, one away from beginning countdown. And uh, let's go. All right. Skip the doomsday phase. This is the last turn we're going to skip the doomsday phase. For machine retaliation phase. Go ahead and check an event for them. It's Venom Drone Strike. Oh, boy. Um, Venom Drone Strike is draw a random number in an area. All water units and LSP markers in that area are each attacked with a 6 SP fire combat. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Area 5, which is right here. Which unfortunately, means all four of these. That's terrible. Um, let's see. Each attacked with a 6 SP fire combat. If it's hit, flip it to disabled side. Disabled markers when they Okay, so yeah, so we'll do the heavy weapons, then his LPS, then the Rangers, then his, or LSP, excuse me. So the heavy weapon, so number six, so if they get uh, six or lower. Eight, it's a miss on my heavy weapons on his life support. Eight, that's a miss. The Ranger, that's a hit, so he takes a hit. Ranger drops to two. Fantastic. Thank you, game. And then his LSP, a two, that also is hit, so it is disabled, so it's no longer helping him. Great. All right, um, I think that's it for that phase. Um, the Warlord's gonna go ahead and move. Remember, he like flips over and then he moves this way. And then he'll go on down this way. Um, commander assignment phase. Let's see if all our commanders in the company box. Um, well, actually. Um, no, let's put him with let's put one with the let's put Manzo with the Ranger here because he's about to engage in close combat. Hopefully. We'll see. So alright. Um let's do it. Choose active company or choose the uh Demos company. Draw Vulture's event. Fantastic. Oh, and then with the unit, we're gonna go ahead and select the Scout for that. I should look at the ranger for that. Excuse me, the ranger. All right, so vulture event is alien POWs. Oh, let's remember we get to reveal. So let's go ahead and reveal this one right here. Three. Oh, okay. So avoid that one for sure. That's too much. Um, all right, so we had the rangers we had picked for the vulture event. So we're going to go ahead and actually consolidate with him, which allows him to go back up. Genius. All right, so let's continue with Demos here. Um, either the scout or heavy weapons. Heavy weapons. Let's do a um, let's do a scan or fire. Ooh, I don't know. Um, let's do a scan with the scout. No. Let's actually do the sustained fire with the heavy weapons. That's what we'll do. So we can do a sustained fire. So it's plus two. He's too far away. So it's in, the two goes away. So it becomes it's just his regular eight, which is still an eight, which is still pretty good. Let's go ahead and select this unit right here. You got a nine. It's a miss. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. All right. So that was a waste. So now it's just the scout. Um, he can do a halt or a reckless charge. He's not going to do a reckless charge because it could freaking kill him. So he's just going to halt right here. Um, unfortunately, he can't. It's not a consolidate, so he doesn't get to go ahead and uh, heal back up. Bummer. All right. We'll go ahead and let's skip to the fission company because I want to see what happens over here with this ranger. So we'll skip to the fission company. Draw a card. Um, the ranger. Let's do the ranger. So move one. So he's gonna go ahead and move into the alien defense enclosure zone. Engage a close combat. He has a four plus. He has Manzo with him. Edge a plus two. So actually has a six close combat. So the alien is a two. You check. You draw nine. Oh god. So eleven versus we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we take a hit. Great. However, it's not over yet. If we don't want it, we can retreat if we want to. I don't want to retreat, so we'll keep fighting. And has a two plus seven is nine. We have three, five is plus nine. So, because he had what? He had a total of nine. We end up with 14. So we take, we do a hit on him and we're going to keep fighting. He has one plus four is five. We have five plus four is nine. He is killed. Boom. All right. So we take this spot. And we'll go ahead and continue with the Ranger. Move one. So we're going to move into the Doomsday device space. Reveal it. It is a two over the units there. So that is spent now. All right. Beautiful. Mm, let me think here. 
I think that's it for yeah, well, that's it for him for sure. I have to continue with the rest of Fission Company. So it is either the Scouts or the Heavy Weapons. Heavy Weapons, Cautious Advance or Halt. Scout can move one. We'll go ahead and move the Scout one and then Consolidate. Beautiful. Shuffle up again. And then we'll do the Heavy Weapon here. I'd like the Heavy Weapon to get a chance to get a Fire Attack. And then I'd like to shoot at the Cluster, Mission Cluster right there. Kick some butt there. Because if he can clear the path for the scout, then the scout will be able to get in there at the Doomsday device a lot faster. All right, let's draw for the heavy weapons. Heavy weapons, halt or move one plus hit. What? Uh, dang it. Um, well, actually, oh yeah. We can, let's use the Vulture's Hoe to redraw the card. Redraw the card for heavy weapon. Panic, this was 10 times worse. I should not have redone that. Um, so he's in yellow, so he retreats to his LSP, which is still back here at the company box. So he retreats all the way back, and he's halted. That was genius. All right, it'll just be the um, Earthling company here. Oxygen and supplies are low. Well, we definitely want to pick, it's got to basically pick our heavy weapons because he's the only one with a LSP that's working. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll pick the heavy weapon. So heavy weapon is the one who's active. Uh, move or move two plus hit. Mm. He'll just go ahead and move one, move two plus hit. Let's go ahead and move one. And we'll keep going with the heavy weapon. Takes a hit. Wonderful. Just what I wanted to see from my heavy weapons unit. Um, and then let's continue with him. Draw for machine event. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, for machine event is unexpected chasm. So you have to put this chasm marker in front of them, which makes it that much harder to get through it. We're going to go ahead and consolidate there. Move this up, and he will be spent. All right, so now we'll activate either scouts or rangers. Scout is move two. Rangers is fire or move one. Um, for the scout, we'll go ahead and have him move two. One, two. Um, and then he'll consolidate. And finally, for the Ranger, um, we'll do the um, replacement. So I'm going to use Barber. I'm going to flip him over, use him to re repair the LSP here. And we'll draw for the Ranger, Panic, which thankfully he's with his unit, um, but he's at yellow. So retreat to LSP and apply Halt. So, all right, so he's halted there. All right, that is it for all my guys here. So end phase, assault coordination. I'm gonna use um, units, which I use to my leaders. So just horse is the only one left to draw an event for. Let's draw the vulture event, jetpack. Jetpack is pretty cool, I think. Select any vulture unit, move it up to two spaces. You just can't use the heavy. Um, so up to two spaces. And I think it gets, it gets conducts, uh, Conducts close combat with a plus two, well, it's three SP. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's use our scout here. Might as well. Let's risk it. So we'll move him into the space. He gets a plus three. So he actually has seven SP. So for the alien, three plus three is six. I have a seven plus six is 13, which is more than double. So it's double or more, so I think that means he takes two hits for close combat. Um, higher scores at least double, unit takes two hits. Yeah, so he is actually eliminated. Beautiful. And he's there. He doesn't get to advance yet, but he will next turn. All right, and that is it for our events. Alien Onslaught. So he will go ahead. The Condor will continue. So he's going to go to Area 6, which is right here. There's no one around for him to fight. He's all pissed off, flying around, a little alien-like, and he'll go the next turn um incoming order so reset and that is it right space time continuum advancing game turn marker so it goes into the countdown phase oh boy and next turn all right here we go doomsday phase so it is game turn one or the excuse me countdown turn one as you can see so we will have it so we're gonna go ahead and i could draw one of the ones i could see but i'm kind of gonna risk it a little bit because i just don't know what's gonna happen and i would almost rather just see if I can, you know, guess a, a smaller one. So let's go ahead and try this one. We'll flip it over. 
a two. That's not too bad. So this marker now, Doomsday Trigger, goes up to a two. And then this gets removed from the game. Well, yeah, over here. Okay. All right. Um, permission in retaliation phase. So they get an event. Groundhog launched. I do not know what that one is. What is that one? Groundhog launched is draw item number. Find that same numbered column. Um, so do one. So this column right here. Um, Groundhog starts in Ada's space of that column. Moves down the column until it reaches a vulture unit. Resolve a close combat. Oh, so it's like a bad guy. Oh, I see. So this guy. So this guy starts here, and then he's going to, what is it going to be? And he moves each turn. Okay, it's a bad guy, which I don't care, though, because I've already resolved the Doomsday device, so I really don't give a shit. Um, although you get more points when you get rid of the units, but whatever, whatever. We'll see. Um, okay, so Warlord uh, Chaos Unit. Warlord's going to move over here. Oh, no. So he's engaged in close combat with my scout. So he has a 2, plus 7 is a 9. I have a 4, plus 5 is 9, so we just take a hit. Which does eliminate him, I believe. Yep. And so, I mean, him. I'm reduced. It's okay, though. I don't, care. I don't care. I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then, commander assignment phase. We're going to put Manzo with the scout, because just in case. And Barber and Horse will stay with the company. All right. On to the active company. All right. Let's go ahead for company. Let's go ahead and get started. Just do the activate fission company over here. Draw a card. Mm, Ranger cautious advantage is already there. The Ranger is basically done. I actually should leave a spend marker on him. He's done for the game. So it's either the heavy weapons or the scout. Um, scout scan or move move two plus hit. Well, I don't want to take a hit. Because what am I at? Three? I don't want to take a hit, do I? Eh, we'll risk it. So move two plus hit. So he's going to go ahead and just move. Does take a hit, fortunately. So scout drops two two and then he moves into this doomsday phase oh my god is that a four holy crap so and if you notice it's a little bit different symbol than some of them there's a sentry there so we have to engage him in close combat this isn't good and we have a four and he has a four so let's see he gets two plus his four so he's six we are seven so we do get to hit so we do eliminate him um so we do win so we're not destroyed or anything like that but um, yeah, a four. We will never draw him, that's for sure. So, good to know, though. All right, we'll set him aside, don't forget. All right, so we're done with the scout, done with them. So all it is is the heavy weapons. Let's see, heavy weapons. Halt or move one plus hit. Um, well, guess we'll halt. Because how many turns we have left here after reveal? So this, this is where we started doing the math, guys. One, two, three, four. And we have one, two, three, four revealed. They're not good. We do that one, that one, that's three. And that one is six, so total six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's too risky. We gotta find some more. Which we got a couple chances, maybe. We'll see. All right, so we're done with the uh, fission company. Let's go to the earthling company here. See what we can activate. Um, let's do the let's see heavy weapons, sustained fire plus hold. Oh, I like that. So let's do a sustained fire. So four plus two, minus one for his range. Becomes a five, and he's gonna target that unit right there. With a five. A one, so he gets a hit on him. This termite mark is obliterated, clearing the way for the scout. And then go ahead and hold right there. Or consolidate, excuse me. And he didn't move, right? Sustained fire. It's sustained fire plus halt. So he's yeah, he can't. I was gonna see if he could heal up, but he can't. So scout or ranger. Scout, move one. Ranger is no. Let's do the scout. He's gonna go ahead and move one, move up here. Draw again, move one, beautiful. We'll continue with the scout. Fire or move one, we're gonna do move one. Continue with the scout, we need more ammo, which I'm gonna use Barber to redraw the card. And then we have to shuffle the deck again. Again, the only downside, pretty much like well, a few downsides of this game, because it's a, it's a blast, you know, spoiler alert. I don't know if I'm gonna do a full review video, I probably won't, um, at least anytime soon, but um, the game is a blast. It's just reshuffling this deck every freaking turn, it feels like, is a little much. Because you play a full game, you're reshuffling this deck, what, 10 plus times? That's a lot of shuffling. So, anyway, small quality of life complaint. What can I say? Game is good. Everything's good. Just bitch about small things, right? Okay. Um, continuing for the scout, right? Yep. Draw Vultures event. Okay. Which is jetpacks. What? Which is I get to go ahead and... 
uh, use two spaces, which I'll pick. I always pick my scout. One, two, um, and we'll draw for the scout again. Panic. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, if you're in an RDZ. Oh, no, RDZ is ours. Okay, so panicked, which means um, uh, in red or ADAS, retreat to LSP, mark is shocked, apply halt. So it retreats all the way to here, and then he gets a shock marker. That is brutal for us. Absolutely brutal. Okay. And he's done. So that as well. All right. Um, there's the ranger, right? Yep. So ranger, cautious advance or halt. So he'll go ahead and cautious advance. Ranger, halt or reckless charge. We're going to do a reckless charge. Move two plus a hit. So one, two. And he's hit down to one. And I'll consolidate there. Oh, man. Brutal. Okay. And then... Uh, Demos company over here, so scout, ranger, heavy weapons. Let's do the ranger, move two, one, two, and continue with the ranger, move two, one, two, beautiful, continue with the ranger, move one plus hit, that's fine, we'll continue, continue with the ranger, move one, and I'll consolidate there. Almost got carried away. All right, now scout or heavy weapon. Scout I really don't care about anymore. Heavy weapon, we'll do a cautious advance. Heavy weapon, we need more ammo. He's one away, so he's good. We'll continue. Halt or move one plus hit. We'll uh, move one and take a hit. Heavy weapon, continue. Move one. All right, then we'll consolidate. And just the scouts left, right? So scout, scan, or fire. He'll scan, scan this one here. It's a miss. Ah, come on, man. Give me a break. And then uh, go ahead and consolidate, which will allow him to at least to heal back one a little bit. Well, it doesn't matter, but all right. That's it for our units here. Um, end phase. It's all coordination. Anyone? He did not. We didn't use horse. The only one, so we get to do an event of ours. Vulture event. Saturation fire. This is where we get to draw for two areas. Remember, two, which is right here. Put a unit there. And then eight is way over here. I think this is eight, right? Yeah. Which actually is kind of cool. Well, no, he ain't going to get there ever. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. And that's it for our events. So alien onslaught. This damn condor. He goes to area four, which is right here. And then what is he, the attacks again? This condor is sort of pissed me off. Most advanced unit. So he lands on the scout right here. And they have a little fight. His four plus two, six, my two, plus five, seven. Boom. Beat him up. Screw you, Condor. Get the hell out of my game. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll wrap everybody up and then move the game turn marker on. All right, Doomsday Phase. So we advanced the game turn marker already. So Doomsday Phase, remember we pick one of these units. Let's go ahead and pick this one here. There's only a one. Move it one up. For Mission Retaliation, they get an event. Mushroom Defense, Cone Deployed. What the heck is that? All right, so I guess you just put it here in front of uh, the units and then it acts as like a shield for them. Uh, I've never drawn it before, so. All right, anyway, um, where are we at? I don't even remember where the heck we, what were we doing? So Warlord Chaos, there are none anymore. Remember we killed the Warlords, so no worries there. Commander Assignment, yeah, it must have been on the phase we were in. So Commander Assignment, let's go ahead and put the Ranger, or excuse me, Horse with him. And then the Barber will leave back here. And then, no, actually, what Barbara will place with the scouts, right? Because he can, um, yeah, he can remove a shock marker. So, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Um, then he will stay back here. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll pick Earthling Company for the card draw. I'm going to use, uh, Barber to remove the shock marker on my scout. Because we would like him to get up there to reveal that Doomsday device, so. Pick move one. Let's go ahead and pick the ranger here. Move there. Um, ranger, fire, or move one. Go ahead and move one. And then he will consolidate. All right. So scout or heavy weapons. Scout is move two. Heavy weapons is move one or sustain fire plus halt. Ooh, sustain fire. Um, let's do a sustain fire plus a halt. So he gets a four plus two, so minus one. Of five and shoot that unit right there with a five. One, that's a hat. Beautiful. And he's halted though. 
And finally, the scout. Scout has a scan or fire. He's going to do a scan, and he's going to reveal this right here, which is a miss. Lovely. Um, and then he will consolidate, which will allow him to go back up to three. Because next turn, I'll probably get a little bit of a run with him and try to get him all the way to that Doomsday device. But I'm going to save it to next turn. We had a couple turns left, so... Shuffling again. Sorry, guys. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. So, I'll speed up. I want to. I'd like to get through this game here before I give it up, but I'm, I may end up stopping before we can get through it. Sorry, guys. We'll see. All right. So, what did we do here? We did. Um, Mark him is spent as well. All right. Let's go ahead and do Demos Company here. Um, Scout Ranger Heavy Weapons. Uh, the Ranger. The scout is fire move one. Oh, I like that. I, mean, I don't like it like it, but we'll do move one, I guess. Scout, scan, or fire. We'll do scan. Miss. Love that. And then scout again. We need more ammo. No effect on him. He'll go ahead and consolidate, actually. All right. And now heavy weapons and ranger. Heavy weapons, ranger. Ooh, the ranger will do a cautious advance. Here. Ranger, fire, move one. Go ahead and move one. So we get in close combat with the Formichian here. He has four, five, six compared to two. Well, two plus five is seven. Six plus eight, 14. So that is double. So he takes two hits. So he is killed. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and continue with, if we can, Ranger, move one. So you can go ahead and move in the space, reveal the Doomsday Marker. So two, I'm going to have to fight the guy. This is two SP plus nine is 11. We have 6 plus 8, 14. That does obliterate him, so he is killed. So, all right, he is revealed, though. Beautiful. All right, and that is... Is it for them? Oh, the heavy weapon gets to go. It's heavy weapons. He panics, which basically where he is, he just stays right there. So, beautiful. And over to the Fission Company, which is all we have left is the heavy weapons. Um, Stained fire plus halt. That's not going to help it anymore. Move plus one and hit. Do that. Um, fire, move one, he'll move one, move one, yep, move one, hit, takes a hit, so he's down to a two, oops, and he'll continue, fire, move one, he'll move one, and I consolidate, <laughs> and why not, it's harm there, okay, and he's spent, he's done, so that is it for all my units, um, end phase, assault coordination, which we have one left, Manzo here. He'll go ahead and bolter event. I'm missing a leader. Where's, there other? Where's my other company commander? Right here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, we used him with them. Must have, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that gets some back. So, anyway, um, vulture event, vulture's ho. So, let's go ahead and put vulture's ho on, well, a ranger right here. I'd say. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and that's it. Million Onslaught. Oh, he moves down one, right? Yeah. Groundhog moves there. And that's it. Reset everything and move the trend marker. All right. Doomsday phase. Let's go ahead and obviously we're going to pick... Well, we'll pick this two right here. So I'll advance it two to the five. Which we only have two turns left. So with the two... And the three, wait, one, two, one, two, three. Ah, oh, no, we need to find another two. We need to find a two or a one or zero. <laughs> I'll take it. Anyway, um, continue on for mission retaliation phase. So they get to the event, alien drop ships, random um, unit, place it in a dead space at the lowest number of units. Lowest printed value. So there's a two here and a one. And then not, they wouldn't go past. What's, he, what's this at? Three. That's going to show right here, which is not good for our Rangers right there. Not good at all for our Rangers. Okay. Um, World Cats phase. Skip that. Commander assignment phase. I think everyone's going to be good here. Okay. Unit activation phase. Let's pick Demos Company here. To be either scouts or heavy weapons. Scout, scan, fire, heavy weapons. Ooh, sustain fire. 
One plus hit or sustained fire. Let's do sustained fire. So now he's going to shoot at him. Six plus seven, eight. Minus one, seven. Seven SP, so it's an eight. It's a miss. And that was halt, too, so he's done. Now the scout. Panic, which he does nothing here. Actually, he panics. He's in the red. Um, he is shocked as well, which is just wonderful. Fantastic. Um, except for all of them. And then uh, let's go over to Earthling Company. Let's activate them. All right, so Rangers. No, I'll do that. That'd be terrible. Terrible luck. Um, let's go ahead and do Scout move two. That's what we'll do. One, two. Let's get that Scout going. Scout move one or move two plus hit. We'll just do move one. Scout. Continue him. Scan or move one. No, he's going to keep moving. Move one. Come on, baby, with that scout. Move one. And it'll continue one more time. Auction supplies are low. We'll use Barber to redraw. Scout, move one plus hit. So he moves in here. Just take a hit. So hopefully there's not a defendive, defended unit there. Or a sentry or whatever. No, there's not. Woo! All right, there we go. Should win us the game. So we should be good. All right, now. So... Um, he's done, so all we'll have over there is what the heavy weapons and the ranger. Yeah. All right, so heavy weapons or ranger. Um, ranger. Hold on, what that is. Sustained fire plus halt. Yeah, sustained fire. He'll lose sustained fire. Again, over here. So four, five, six. That's one's five. Eight. It's a miss. Wonderful. So now it'll be the ranger. Halt or move one plus hit. He'll halt, obviously. Um, so he's just spent. Because he's halt, he doesn't get to heal up. I'm trying to heal him up first before he tries to advance. But anyway, over to Fission Company, which is just heavy weapons, right? Cautious advance or hold. He'll do a cautious advance and he will consolidate. Boom. Oh, Sit free our units and phase assault coordination. So, horse here. Flip him over for an event. Vulture event, deep craters. Don't even want that one. That's these are. This goes back here. And then that one does too. Once a unit's out of there, you put them back. Um, they're fine. Doesn't really matter. I don't. Don't like that event. Doesn't do anything for me. Doesn't make me feel good. Saturation fire. Well, we know how good we do with these, but okay. So nine. So well, it's wasted. And then two. And that's right here. So all right. That's it for our guys here. A and onslaught. All good. Except he moves down. Incoming order. So the um, reset everything and move a game turn marker. All right. Uh, game turn nine here or countdown two so doomsday phase pick the lowest number obviously which is let's just say this two right here moves it to seven all right for machine event habanero gas it's, it's a baronos gas but we'll go ahead and place it area four so right here and then this is one where um An onslaught step, they'll get a seven SP fire combat um, after it. you move, remove it after though. So, all right, warlord phase, skip that. Commander assignment phase. I think everyone's good where they are, right? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we'll just we won't worry about this right now. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and leave them here. Um, okay, choose active company. I'll go ahead and pick uh, Earthling company. So all we have are rangers or heavy weapons. Rangers, we're gonna do a fire. And we're not gonna use any special things, we're just gonna use fire. He's gonna fire at him with a two, which is a miss. That's okay though, because then he's gonna consolidate, which will then beef him up a little bit. Boom. And now it's the heavy weapon. Draw Vulture's event. Cool. Good for us. Saturation fire. Okay. First one goes to seven, which is is that right here? Yep, so that's wasted. So the second one would go to six, which is right next door. Which is right here. So he ends up right there. Okay. All right. Um, 
I think it'll... Oh, yeah. Then the heavy weapons continues. Draw for mission event. Well, that's not good. Mushroom defense cone deployed. So he'll deploy uh, in front of... So he seems right here. Current active company. And we'll just consolidate. Which he should get to heal up too. So three. Heavy weapon goes to three. Beautiful. Because he didn't move at all. I think that's how it works. Yeah, sure. Whatever. We're at the end of the game. I'm kind of rushing through because the game's almost over. Right over here. Move two plus hit. Um, came with him, came with him. So heavy weapons, so he will move two up to here. Then he does take a hit, so he drops to two. Um, and he will go ahead and consolidate. And then, dun, 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 oh, he's done with the consolidate. Is there a scout there? Scanner move one. He's gonna go ahead and scan this. What hit? Nice, he's eliminated, perfect. And then check what he can do. Move one. He can't move in your shock, so I guess it ends his turn. I don't know. Maybe he couldn't scan either. I'm not sure. I'm kind of rushing through at this point, guys. Sorry. Um, let's see here. So I think are we almost done? Are we done? Just the heavy weapons over here, right? So fission company, heavy weapons, cautious advance or halt. Um, who would advance there? Heavy weapon. Move one. Test take a hit or sustain fire plus halt. Go to sustain fire. So he's first at him, so four, five, six, minus one, five to him. A one, so that is a hit. It takes a hit here, bam. All right, but that's it, that's it for him. Okay, that's it for the turn, end phase. Um, we get all of our events, so this is gonna be nice. LSP emergency protocol, reactivate disabled or move anyone out to, its, out to any distance. Um, I think they're all caught up for the most part, anything that matters anyway. I'll move this one to catch up to him there, cool. Barber, saturation fire. I'll try this again. Four, one, two, three, four. Nobody there. And I got to reshuffle again. Jesus. Area seven. Thing seven. Oh, it doesn't matter. Wasted. So they're all wasted. That's fine. I don't care. Um, don't really need any more. I think I'm about to win anyway. So, haha. <laughs> all right. I'm a little cocky, but I think I'm going to win. And then finally, last Vulture event. Saturation Fire. Same thing. Uh, area 1. Okay. So right there. And then Area 5. Right here. Okay. Yeah, those are cool. I'll, I'll take them. Okay. And that is it for them. Alien Onslaught. So he moves down here. And we have a, a combat. This reveals he took a he take a hit from that. So um, we have combat. I don't know what the four two four two one is. All right, I don't care. Um, we have combat. Close combat. He has a four, seven. I have a two, eight. It's ten. So I kill him. It's good for me. All right, and we set all the markers. Last turn. All right, last turn in the game. Go ahead and uh, doomsday phase. We'll pick this two right here. So I'll move to nine. So the planet is not destroyed. I think we've put out the turn though. So for machine phase, alien drop ships. What's that do? Um, place on. That's right. Pay this as an eight of space. So we're going with the lowest SPs, which is this two right here. No big deal. Um, Warlord phase. Skip that. Commander assignment phase. Skip all that. Let's go ahead and pick Demos. Move one plus hit. Uh, I'll go ahead and move the heavy weapons here. I'll take a hit and I'll consolidate. Scout, two plus hit. You can't move at all. So I think it takes a hit though. And I'll consolidate. That's it for these guys. Earthling Company, heavy weapon, fire, move one. He'll just, uh, you can't move. He'll fire. Fired him right there. Six. Minus one for the range is a five. You got a nine, that's a miss. And I'll just consolidate right there. Uh, and then heavy weapons here. Move one, sure. Move again. Fire, move one. He'll move one. And then consolidate. 
here. Then who else was left? Was anyone left? That ranger up there. Yeah, I should have, I skipped him. Blah, blah, blah. Halt. Oh, well, he halts. Okay. And then, uh, that should be it. Um, the evacuators are done. So coordination. Draw vultures event for all my units. See if they matter. Steel rain barrage. What's that do? Rim numbers. Plus one face on support marker. marker. Unit. Okay, I don't, I don't think they'll matter. Nine and one. All right, it's so over there. Over there. One of them, anyway. Barber's event, Walter's Ho, no matter, him, and Manzo, God is an alien, <laughs> God is an alien, uh, draw a top action card, apply the machine event instead, oh no, that's not good, um, EMP device, um, let's see, and that is, a random number, some area, all SP or series are flipped to the stable side, so, eight, so are not in there, so we're good there, um, so coordination where I just did all that. All in onslaught, no special alien events right now. Reset everything. Um, advance game term marker. Game term marker goes to zero. Doomsday devices at nine. Game is over. Check the victory point tables. Um, so one SVP per SP on map in red approach zone. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven um, plus two per in here zero and then plus three in here one, so it's three per right yeah that's nine so that's 20 six so 26 32 um 12 so 46 46 no special chits um, we did eliminate the warlord remember so that's 51 no other special markers 51 Minus, for every SP of theirs, it's a minus one. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, times two, 38. They have 13 left. Um, minus five for um, per special alien. Mushrooms are the two, two mushroom domes. This minus 10, so I'm down to three. No company commanders eliminated, planet is not destroyed. So I finished with three victory points. So I finished with scolded and demoted. <laughs> Vultures lead the way, ladies and gents. I Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna do a full review video. Really enjoy this one. You can probably tell. I did rush to the end, but just because I'm just trying to wrap up the video a little bit. Um, I love the chaos. love the push your luck aspect. All these things. Um, two cons is the fact that you're constantly reshuffling the deck. And then I think there's too many events. I think that there's too many of the, both for Michigan and Vulture events. There's like 20 plus events in the game. That's too many events. Um, but... I love how the different systems interact when you're pushing and then you have to deal with like other than the tons of events over and over and over and over and over. I like how you have like different little combats, you know, fire combat, then close combat. Um, you know, you never know exactly what's going to happen. You're pushing, you're pushing. And then what you saw a couple times I was pushing, thought I was doing really well. And then I got a panic, it sent me back. So um, definitely like the game overall. So good job, Herman Lutman and White Dog Games for publishing this one go check it out guys it's a vultures lead the way battles of 324th vulture regiment i'm wayne hansen if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you made it this far why not right so all right guys until next time later